My name is David Junior Harmani, and I'm a member of Youth Parliament here in Tonga, and I'm fresh out of the box. I grew up, we didn't really stay in one place for a long time. We kind of move around from here to town. My mom was, she was a loving person. She always took care of us, making sure that we go to school, but we had dark time as well. My mom was mentally ill, so sometimes we gotta watch out and took her care of her. So I kind of started going with friends, staying at their place. So it became my lifestyle, drifting from place to place uh, where home, it could be anywhere. I've slept under a boat. It's beautiful like when it's warm, you know, under the stars. It's really hard to, to find food. Especially if you're drifting, right? No one could know how hungry you are. You had to drink a lot of water. Water was like breakfast, lunch and dinner sometimes. After that, I, I kind of felt like I was lost and then somehow I met up with this group called Seleka and trying out painting use colors to express how, how lost I was. But when at Seleka, I kind of like met other kids who are lost as well. So I want to help them more. Most of the kids were, came from broken families, right? That's how I got my motivation. I wanted to help them as much as I could. So I took a scholarship as a youth worker. They've run like youth parliament before, but first time in 10 years, that's a long time, 10 years. Some of the friends were, were talking about it and I kind of speak to myself, I want to try it out. It'll be a good opportunity to express the, the voice that has not been heard. Somehow the misfits and all, all of us, I kind of feel like we were without a voice. And I was very happy that I got in and surprised as well. There were 26 of us chosen. We had to wear a suit and a ta'avala, you know, very formal. I never, don't even know how to put on a tie. Everyone kind of look at me at the first time I came in. And some of the workers like, you couldn't do your hair like that in parliament. I asked for a youth advisory panel where the voice of what we need as youth are uh, heard inside. I kind of paint them the picture that the government, they should be looking after us. They are the parents of the youth, people, the Fonua. I ask them to hear us and to empower us, help us help ourselves to be empowered. That was the most important one. Her side, like double piece. Like I did that in parliament as a memory of mom. Did I do that? I was surprised, is that me? Even my mom said something like, like somehow that, that I'm like, I'm like, like her. The video. My <laughs> biggest goal for youth parliament, it keeps on going. I think it'll be great if I become a parliamentary, like actual one, one day, that'll be great. But as for the future, I'll try and leave that door open.